Our Shalom, we the Hebrew Israelites, out here to prophesy the downfall of America. We want to start out by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Wahashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach them real well. A citation to the brothers, week in, week out, day in, day out, living and pushing this truth with sincerity and charity. All right, today we want to go over faith. All right, because the times that we in, for the people that's in the truth, no hell is finna come, man. These prophecies are being fulfilled on a day-to-day -day basis. This chip is being pushed, the mark of the beast, and people not even seeing it. But the brothers, we gotta have faith to make it through this thing, all right? All right, so the first group we're gonna come with is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's right, the thing that's hoped for is so you gotta hope for it and you can't see it, man. That's, that's, that's what faith is. You can't see it, but in your heart, in your mind, you know it's there. You know? Things that you're hoping for. We hoping to get up out of this place fast and fast every day. We hoping to make it to the king. Yeah, it also says, it says that the evidence of things hoped for, man. That's why we got these scriptures, because that's, that's the evidence that we need, that we put our hope into, man. This is the hope we have is through this scripture, man. It's the evidence, and, and the evidence is the things that are, are, are being fulfilled through the scriptures, man. That's right. Like bro got a little early, the mark of the beast. You know, uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars. The things that were talked in, in the scriptures are being uh, 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 fulfilled as we speak. Right. So that's the evidence right there, man. And then what's, what's the second half of that, brother? Get back to it. It said, faith. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things not seen, man. Like when you see the air, but you, you know it's there because you feel it, man. Same thing with these scriptures, man. We break them down, man. You know, you know the things that we we'll say are true, man. That's the evidence that you have. Alright? Uh, even the things that's not seen, even how the, uh, the elders broke down the, what was gonna happen with this mark of the beast, and now that's coming, that's coming um, to pass, man. We couldn't see that, but through faith we believe in, in, in the word, man. I've been teaching about these microchips since we YouTube in 2007, man. That's right. Nobody didn't know nothing about that RF, uh, RFID uh, technology then, but now it's in our face. If we if wish it, man, we can see it now, man. That's them having that faith and believing what they was talking about through the scriptures, man. That's right. All right. Get this Romans uh, 10 and 7. Uh, Romans 10 and 7. Because faith is a big thing and it's truth, man. But if you don't uh, have no faith in a Yahweh, Yahweh, Shaq, why are you in this thing, man? Know? So we gotta have faith uh, to even believe in the scriptures, man. To try to follow the law and statutes and commandments, man. You gotta have faith, man. That what you're doing is not vain. That the Lord is actually gonna do what He said He's gonna do. The scripture said the Lord is not a man that He should lie, man. He's, uh, so what He wrote in these scriptures is gonna come to pass, regardless of what anybody on this planet got to think about. That's right. All right, All right this is Romans 10 and 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of power. So faith comes by hearing of, the, of these scriptures, man. That's right. That's how your faith builds up, because you read these scriptures, and you start seeing the prophecies come to pass, which builds your faith. Or when you say a prayer to your help by Shem Yahweh Shah, and that, that prayer that you did is answered, man. Those are all faith boosters, man. And through the, through the scriptures, man, you know, A great prayer life and a faith uh, based life, man. Alright? I got I got one. So uh, <laughs> this is the one I was looking for too. Hebrews 11 and 6. Yeah, that's what I was just I was just gonna go to 11, 6 and 7. Uh, that was that was on my I read it. Okay. 
This is Hebrews 11 and 6. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah, man. So it said without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And you know why? Because if you have no faith, you're not going to truly believe in these scriptures, man. Because this, the, the, the scriptures are a prophecy. Stuff that, that it hasn't happened yet, but that's going to happen, man. It's a book of prophecies, man. So if you have no faith in things that haven't happened yet, then how are you going to believe, man? So without faith, it's impossible to believe Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Uh, it said, but um, I said, um, read, keep going on it. I mean, you read that uh, verse again for me, bro. Okay. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Oh, oh yeah, oh, you, oh, oh, yeah. you got to believe that Yahweh Mahashem, Yahweh Shah is who he say he is, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Right, because you can't see him. You can't see him. You got to have faith in the scriptures and the faith in what he said, man. You got to have faith to follow the laws. Because you can't see the Lord, so you got to have faith in him and you got to have faith in his name. That's why I said, man, uh, it's impossible to please him. Hey, we believe, we we don't see the air, but we feel it, man. That's right. That's the same thing. You got to know that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah exists. That's right. All right? A lot of people say they believe him, I mean, that he do, but really in their hearts, they really don't believe, man. That's right. A lot of people lack faith, man. And, and, and that's why a lot of people can't get this, because they don't have faith. Uh, uh, Israel is a people who want to see it right here, right now, man. There's some things you can't get right off the back. You got to go through some things. You got to get your faith built up, man. You're not going to just get it. All right. Keep going. Let me say Because uh, another thing, too, like I said, uh, uh, it said, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Because, okay, like it said, he is, that's really the Lord's name. That's what Yahweh means. Yeah. He is. He to be or he exists. Right. You gotta, you gotta have, have faith in the Lord to believe that's a true and correct name. Right. You know what I'm saying? How you know that, that you are not uh, worshiping a false god? How you know that uh, that the name of the Lord is not God or like they say, uh, uh, what do they say, Yehoshua or Yahweh? How you know that's not the true name of the Lord? See what I'm saying? Because you gotta have faith to know that the true name of the Lord is Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? That's the name that resonates in your spirit. Like the scripture tell you, our spirit bear witness with the spirit that what? We are the children of the most high. Right. See what I'm saying? So that takes faith in order to what? To believe what you what you believe in. See what I'm saying? Like the scripture say, the, uh, therefore, what does it say? We believe, therefore we speak. You got to have faith in order to even believe in what you're saying out here on the house of Bible. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith to even believe that the Lord is going to deliver you. That you're not doing this in vain. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That you're not out here wasting your time. That takes a great, tremendous amount of, of what? Faith. That's right. You got to be rooted in your faith. That's right, man. Go ahead. That's right, man. They say, and he is a rewarder that to them that diligently seek him, man. That means you, you, you enter these scriptures, you learning the proper breakdown of these scriptures, and you're delivering to the flock, to the people of Israel, the proper breakdown of these scriptures, man. Right. That's how you get your reward, man. Right. Which is the kingdom in the end, man. Right. Now, he rewards us sometime on a daily basis. He'll give us a breakdown of a scripture here and there. Uh, he'll give you a little extra substance when you need, a little extra money. You know, he'll give you that, man. That's right. But the main reward is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures, man. That's right. That's the main reward that we're looking after, man. The proper breakdowns, man. Us not going off and creating our own doctrines. Just so many are popping up out the blue right now, man. Right. It's like every other camp is bringing up their own different kind of uh, uh, breakdown of the scriptures, man. Yep. False breakdowns. Every other uh, camp. Every other camp. That's except not, the, except that's GMS. GMS yeah. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, but then they go to the scripture. You uh, you forgot your first love, man. Because most of these camps is popping up. They not nothing but break off from GMS, man. But you forgot your first love. You forgot the first doctrine you was taught, man. Now they want to. They want to be the man. That's why they doing it, man. 
you know, they want to be uh, 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 the one that, that have this breakdown or that you have about Shimmy Howard Shah dealing with, man. That's right. But in, 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 in Revelation said, we're going to be singing that same song, man. We're going to be talking about the mark of the beast, man. That's right. What's that, Revelation uh, 14 chapter? 13 or 14. Let me go to the book. Let me go to the Hey man, people got a, a, a lack of faith, man. Hey, you can't have a lack of faith because what's to come, man? You're gonna have to have faith. What if your family can't eat for three weeks, man, and your kids are dying in the party, man? But you're gonna give up and you're gonna have faith, man. You don't know what the Lord gonna put you through when they take his trouble, man. So I've gotta pray that we have the faith to make it do this thing, man. Mark of Beast is coming, man. Hey, it's hell finna break loose. They finna cut all the people off these steps, man. What do you think these people gonna do to feed their kids, man? All right, right, cause like what's going on right now, even in uh, even in your your politics, what's going on is Lord has set division amongst the Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture says, Satan uh, houses divided against itself; it shall not stand. What's going on in politics right now? Even the, even the Republicans are at each, at each other's throat. Uh, they acting like female. Mike Pence saying this about Trump. Trump saying this about Mike Pence. You see what I'm saying? Even their house is divided. You see what I'm saying? The Lord is showing you right before your face that what? America is crumbling. You see what I'm saying? Because they can't even come in unison or one accord on, in their own beliefs or, or, or political ideas. See what I'm saying? So, so hey, America is being destroyed. 